won't do that again. I wish that I had been vegetarian. <laughs> well, for most of my adult life, I was vegetarian. And during all that time, I still had a soft spot in my gullet for fish. And when I was a waiter at a restaurant that was known for its seafood, I, a, a dish that I commonly served was a stuffed flounder. There was two fillets wrapped around crab meat, this delicious sauce over it. And a lot of my customers only ate one of them. And so I would return with this untouched gourmet loot, which I would stash on a shelf to enjoy later. And my coworkers couldn't help but notice the scavenging behavior, and soon I was dubbed Seagull. <laughs> And whenever an untouched flounder was seen coming back in the <laughs> kitchen, you could hear the recycling cry, Save it for Seagull! <laughs> well, my vegetarian phase uh, sort of phased out as I became a family man because my kids, two kids, started to join ranks with my wife who enjoy meat. Now, I don't want to be the odd man out in my own house, <laughs> so I, I joined their ranks. And, but I know way too much about how conventional meat is raised. So I have this omnivore's dilemma. And I do not want to subject my family nor myself to all this absolute crap that goes in most of the things they call food stuff. So I solved it as best as I could by becoming the procurer of animal protein for my family. And whenever possible, I try to get it directly from a farmer I trust. So um, I almost started this routine by saying that I, I like things raw. Raw emotion, raw food, raw sex. I just want to make sure you're still listening. You know? uh, um, but before I got married, I was definitely moving in the direction of being a pure f raw foodist. And, and it's, so, it's so efficient to the time and energy you save in food preparation and especially cleanup, which is my main beef about eating meat. Which is potent, yeah, <laughs> pun intended. Yeah. Because whenever uh, the carcass of a, even a free range, you know, f happy grass fed critter, you know, is prepared in our kitchen, that part is just virtually quarantined till any possible speck of raw meat juice has been super sanitized from the surface of any, you know, thing here. So, um,. Uh, this is all background for what happened at a dinner at my house not long ago. I had bought some frozen ground beef from a farmer I knew. It had thawed in this bowl, um, very far away from the rest of the preparation of the dinner, which was basmati rice and beets. Uh, everyone enjoyed this hamburger that my wife had made. After it was over, the routine is the kids go upstairs with Susan. I clean up as fast as I can so I can join them. And cleanup was pretty easy that night because there was clean plate club all around. No leftovers whatsoever. Except there's this bowl of rich, you know, the beet juice that was left there. And I did not, you know, want this phytonutrients, the bioflavonoids, the best part of there is right there, you know. So I, you know, I, you know, eagerly take this rich red elixir and just, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't believe it. I just chugged the whole thing down. And I, want me to, and I was like in a panic. I was like, um, I, and I run upstairs and I'm trying to discreetly ask my wife, you know, should I induce vomiting? Should I induce vomiting? And my kids catch on and pretty, you know, they get wind of this and soon they're asking, should daddy puke? Should daddy puke? You know? <laughs> so my wife it keeps me calm. She says, go downstairs and read Sally Fallon. I was like, oh, we have this food Bible in our kitchen, Nourishing Traditions. And there's a whole segment in there about raw meat. And I'm reading about how all these cultures from all over the world, it's a common practice. And it's, it's not weird. And it's like if the f meat is good, it's no problem. And if the meat is frozen, that kills the parasites. So I'm thinking, OK, I'm just going to calm myself down here, you know? I'm just going to check in and see how I feel. <clears throat> I'm feeling OK. I'm actually kind of like, you know, jacked up from the adrenaline rush or something. And I'm feeling, I'm feeling really strong. I'm feeling good, yeah. And there was this, this jar I couldn't open earlier. Where was that thing? I'm like, oh, no problem. We always wanted to get that stove moved back an inch and no one could ever budget. I'm just like, yeah. <laughs> what a man. I'm feeling like your hair is sprouting out of my chest. I, mean, I feel like Popeye on steroids. Yeah. So I'm thinking, you know, the next time I go out to eat, I may go to a steakhouse. And when they ask me how I would like it done, I say, done? <laughs> Real men don't eat cooked meat, you know? And, and I was headed to be a raw foodist, and I, I think that's my final frontier diet. And now I'm going to just go take it all away. Eat it all raw! Just call me Count Jackula. <laughs> <laughs>